you know what they say, red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Top of the morning to you from a, a Bangkok in full monsoon. I'm on the way into the old part of Bangkok today, Ratanakosin Island, my favorite area of Bangkok. Um, I'm gonna stay there for a couple of days whereupon I shall wander profusely filming. I thought I'd show you something completely different today, a small area that I've actually never been to before. First up this morning is the famous flower market, or, or the flower markets, plural, of Chakrapet Road, a stone's throw from Wat Po. This morning I'm gonna enter a fragrant and floral world, both colorful and aromatic. So join me today for a real shot to the senses. Hello. 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 The tuk-tuks waiting for their customers. Shops all over Bangkok come down in the morning to pick up flowers and sometimes veg. So in Mac though, huh? Oh, so in Mac, huh? About 10p, 15 cents for a, a bunch of orchids, man. Cheapest flower in the market is the orchid, which is ironic, it's the most expensive at home. Well, look over here. Smells absolutely marvellous in here. Seven bar, get bar. This is the local flower section, by far the cheapest. But often the most beautiful, these are usually often used for garlands here, as you can see, making them into garlands here. Okay, where next? Darker lights over here. All the vendors been here since 3, 4 this morning. Deliveries by river and by truck and, and car from all over the country, but actually mo mostly Samut Sakhan, Samut Songkran and Nakhon Bhattam, which are provinces all to the west of Bangkok. We've got to the veggie bit. Show you a little bit of this now. Mm. 
mini pumpkin and I have no idea what they are. No idea. Well, this is the river in the of one of the markets. Gotta have a look. Starbucks up there, let's have a look. I'm sure we're not allowed in, but let's have a look anyway. Do that, man. Come on. Just asked him if I could have a look. He said, Of course you can. Of course you can, sir. Okay, so this is a little boulevard they opened. It did have all sort of restaurants and eateries and stuff, and I'm sure they'll be back soon. But uh, yeah. That's normally a hive of activity, it's not, not a lot of stuff being delivered by boat at the moment, but yeah. As you can see it stretches right down there, in fact there's even a Starbucks down there, so usually this is quite a busy area and certainly a very big area for tourists. I anticipate seeing zero foreigners today though in uh, in this okay so Yodpiman river walk is actually a little mole so upstairs they've got things as well for the view but loading and unloading business going on and this one is Yodpiman Flower City. A lot of places on the river are closed as you can see. Have a look down there. I think it might be interesting, more interesting to go up here. Then we'll have a look over the bridge. And like I said, during normal times and certainly in the middle of the night or three or four in the morning, usually this place is absolutely rammed. It's like Piccadilly Circus in London. Custard apple. Pretty sure he was guzzling whiskey, but there you go. The ICP flower market. Thanks, good guy. Nah. Let's get lost. Imported tulips over there. Look. Another flower market there. Let's go and have a look in a minute. We've got everything from uh, local blooms to international blooms to. Well, that's where I want to go. To international blooms to. You'll see the. Uh, people with less money, the working class people or the poorer people in the area will buy some of the smaller or cheaper flowers and thread them onto garlands for, for the religious ceremonies. Anyway, let's have a little walk up here and we'll go back on the other side and have a look. Daddy car.
place where they arrange into bouquets and all sorts. Let's have a look. Literally thousands of people making garlands for for Buddha. Yeah. <laughs> Get one mare from short mark mark. <laughs> different area of the markets do different things, they're all edible there. Edible flowers, flowers for Buddha, flowers for smelling good, flowers for good luck, flowers to look beautiful. where they load off the boats and carry them through into the market like I said early in the morning that's absolutely ran with people and you get you actually get brokers here and stuff like that that it's almost like a stock market everybody's shouting and trying to get the right price for sale or, or to buy pretty incredible to see really Just certain types of trees and what I was saying before about getting a load of flowers buying them or getting them on tick and then putting them on here or she might just get, be getting paid to do it Chilies. Literally get any kind of flower, any kind of herb, any kind of chili in this area that your little heart desires. And another shrine. Without checking, I'm pretty certain that will be to to bless their businesses, good fortune and and that kind of thing. Look, this place is called the Onion Hostel, look. Because it's next to the Onion and Garlic wholesale place. It's the old weighing scales. Wonder for how many years they were used on the docks, eh? Trace the cat down the alley. <clears throat> oh, I love this part of town. For miles and miles, it's just a labyrinth of alleyways and little streets and lanes to wander down. It's great. 
fast approaching 9 a.m. now and pretty quiet down here now. A lot of people have done their business and then just normal people can wander about in the daytime and buy and a lot more traders traditionally would be here again in the evening but um, gives you a general a general idea of the market as usual if you did like this video please don't hesitate to subscribe don't hesitate to click like and leave any kind of comment you would like thank you see you next time Three flowers there I was just about going to another shot and a massive rat ran over my foot so I won't be going in there I'm overladen with flowers for Mrs Bizzle I don't even think we got a vase but hey ho it's the thought that counts isn't it